not to forget that there were two attacks on the British Army in London that day. The first attack is known as the Hyde Park bombing. At 10.43 a.m. a bomb exploded in the boot of a car parked on South Carriage Drive in Hyde Park. It exploded as soldiers of the Household Cavalry on horseback were riding by. They were taking part in their daily changing of the guard procession riding from their barracks in Knightsbridge to Horse Guards Parade. Three soldiers of the Blues and Royals were killed instantly and another died from his wounds three days later. The other soldiers in the procession were badly wounded and a number of civilians were injured. Seven of the regiment's horses were also killed or had to be euthanized because of their injuries. The second attack, known as the Regent's Park bombing, two hours and 12 minutes later at 12.55 p.m., a second bomb exploded underneath the bandstand here in Regent's Park. 30 military bandsmen of the Royal Green Jackets were on the stand performing music to Oliver, from Oliver, to a crowd of 120 people. Six of the bandsmen were killed instantly and the rest were wounded. A seventh died of his wounds 12 days later. Eight civilians were also injured. The bomb had been hidden underneath the stand and triggered by a timer. The IRA claimed responsibility for both attacks responsibility for both attacks. Please join me in remembering them as I read out the names of the seven bandsmen who lost their lives. Warrant Officer Graham Barker, Sergeant Robert Doc Livingstone, Corporal John McKnight, Bandsman John Heritage, Bandsman George Mazur, Bandsman Keith Powell, and Bandsman Larry Smith. We'll now lay a wreath. Thank you, General. Going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. say the regimental collect. Almighty God, creator and preserver of all mankind, we beseech thee in thy wisdom to guide and guard us, thy servants of the Royal Green Jackets. Make us worthy of the great traditions bound up in the union of our free regiments, and as thy servants of old were chosen to obey with speed, May we be bold to seek thy grace in every time of need, and so be patient and persevering in running the race that is set before us. This we ask through Jesus Christ, our Lord. 
Amen. selection since for 41 years um, but we're going to play it today we're going to stop in the middle we're going to remember those seven guys that were killed and then we'll continue on to play the rest of the selection which this bandstand hasn't heard um, so we'll bring the buglers on halfway through um, we'll have a little mark of respect and then we'll carry on um, I hope you can understand why I want to play this selection almost on every concert so uh, bear with me thank you Oliver
Warrant Officer Class 2, Graham Barker. Sergeant Robert Livingstone. Corporal Johnny McKnight. Bandsman John Heritage. Bandsman George Monsieur. Bandsman Keith Powell. Bandsman Lawrence Smith. And who died as a result of that day some time later, Sergeant Keith Lewis.